and welcome back to another episode of Pipe Story brought to you by Pipes and Pickin. First, I want to get out of the way that I'm sorry for the delay uh, in putting videos up. I hadn't lost interest in the channel or in the YTPC. Um, last week, I actually <clears throat> had to spend a little time in the hospital, had a little digestive issue. That's perfectly fine. Uh, everything's better or on its way back to being better and uh you know thing, things are fine it's nothing very threatening or anything just very painful very uncomfortable but uh and then the past few days i've been uh actually in the uh just recovery so we're you know kind of laying up taking pain pills of course smoking my pipe so uh anyway i hadn't even really been able to get engaged with the uh YTPC uh, because if I'm laying up in the hospital bed the last thing I want to do is see people smoking a pipe and I can't smoke a pipe. Uh, the nurses seem to uh, frown on smoking indoors uh, around all that oxygen. I, you know, oh well. But I did want to start my series on my church wardens and this is a church warden. It's a, it's a no name basket church warden that I picked up on eBay um, and honestly uh, to, to be perfectly honest and candid with you it's not one of my eBay successes uh, I forget what I paid for the pipe but it really isn't one of my favorite pipes the uh, the wood is very cheap um, not even certain that it's briar feels like a mortar or some kind of composite or something and I it's just not a great and I paid too much for it now it's still within my budget so it's not like I have to apologize to the wife too much for it but I did uh it wasn't a success I've had some successes I've had some good purchases um and we'll I've got the pipe I'm going to talk about with that probably my biggest success with that but this isn't one of them but I want to talk about the church warden um I'm kind of give or take on church wardens. Uh, I'm getting to where I can smoke them a little better. And at first, when I started, when I got my first church warden, I was a little bit, I was more novice than I am now. And I went to drawing on it just like I did my uh, uh, any other pipe. Maybe even harder. Because I thought longer stem, draw harder. But that's really not even the case. If anything, with a church ward, and this is just my experience, that if anything, um, drawing softer, smoother, um, is probably the way to go. I have burnt my hand to pieces uh, with church wardens. I don't know why. I know they're supposed to smoke cooler, and they do until I just get way out of control with my, with my drawing, my cadence. So, I mean, I know that church wardens... Um, or I know that every pipe has its own cadence, and every pipe has its own personality. Um, but church wardens for me are just a different animal all the way around. Now that I figure that out, I'm starting to kind of like them. I, I also have a hard time cleaning them. Um, I hadn't found a pipe cleaner that I really like uh, uh, for my church wardens. I just I hadn't found one that really kind of kind of works for me so um, of course we know the church warden is a pretty distinct shape all by itself um, basically it's just this long this long stem and in preparation for this episode I tried to do a little bit of research on you know how the church warden got its name and of course we've seen all the fantasy novels of you know people like in the Lord of the Rings or um, any of those or the Game of Thrones episodes where you know there's people smoking a pipe in a more of a fantasy setting they tend to be smoking church wardens there's something um really cool about the uh, uh the victor in a in a fantasy battle you know, killing all the bad guys pulling out his church warden and puffing away i suppose that's something to do with it but one of the uh I hadn't really found a lot of the research that I found doesn't actually have a very uh, definitive 
history for the uh, for the title of how they got the church the name Church Warden. And one that seems to make the most sense to me is, uh, you know, back in the old days, that the church would literally have a warden that would a church would have a warden that would stand guard over the church, and in in order to keep the tobacco from uh, going into the church and smelling up the church like tobacco, they fashioned longer stemmed pipes that they would, you know, kind of hang out the window and smoke that way. Um, I don't know. I also saw some things that, you know, the, the deacons of the church would like these long pipes and would use them to pop the, the loud children upside the head uh, in the middle of service. Nah, you take your pick. Um, they do seem to work really well. I like them for reading. Uh, of course, with the with the bent or a slight bent or even a full bent, they they work well for reading too. But this completely keeps the smoke and the operating uh, free from the book, free from your eyes, and things of that nature. So. They definitely have their purpose in pipe smoking. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hit or miss with them, and I think it's really just more operator error, as probably most things are in my pipe smoking. Uh, it's probably more operator error than it is a function of the pipe. Um, but I think they do have a purpose. I, I do like, uh, there are times I really want a, a church ward. Um, I think we do, uh, I think we do uh, tend to identify with some of the people or some of the characters that we, we see in pipe smoking. Uh, you know, so there is sort of the image of the old wizard or the old, uh, you know, the old uh, old man in town. Uh, we tend to identify ourselves, I think, uh, with those pipes. And so sometimes you feel like just kind of the old wise sage and you just want to sit down and smoke a church warden I think that's cool I think that's really cool that's actually sort of how I came to a church warden you know when I first got started smoking pipes of course I threw myself into it I found a uh, you know a hobby that really kind of satisfied my anxiety and of course I got to researching all the styles of pipes and different types of pipes and obviously church wardens caught my eye and so it was a it was a pipe design that I was really interested in learning more about, and uh, finally got around to buying one. This wasn't it. I'll I'll bring my first one out ne uh, soon. And you know I, I think is as we find those things in our life, as we find those things that bring us relaxation and those hobbies that we like, you know, throwing yourself into it, learning as much about it finding out what you like, what you don't like is so important uh, because it gives us a sense of ownership in the hobby and it, it, it draws us deeper into it. And with things like the church warden, um, he you know, provides us with the, uh, I guess some of the cultural uh, aspects that we're looking for. For lack of a better term, the stylish, the style or, uh, that, we're, that we're looking for in our hobby. But if smoked properly, they do provide a nice cool smoke. Um, that it may be, it may be a little less uh, wet, pretty, a little bit drier smoke than some. Which does provide for some interesting flavors. Uh, if you're tasting, like I've got uh, McBaron Navy Flake in here, and um, you know, definitely tasting some of the sweet breads, some of the sugar, some of the sweet taste in a different way than I would in another pipe because the smoke is a little cooler, um, a little drier than some of the other ones. So it's a different way to smoke your tobacco, a different way to get some flavors. So anyway, 
uh, that's today's episode. Just wanted to uh, start my pipe, uh, my, my church warden pipes uh, series. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, kind of finding yourself and identifying yourself and finding these different things uh, that you like, what you don't like about the hobby uh, in different pipes. Um, especially as you use it to just kind of sit and be quiet and think. And for the flaws that I, I see in them, in my church wardens, uh, church warden is a really good pipe to uh, just kind of sit and be quiet. And, uh, let the world go by. Um, it's a good pipe for that. So, anyway, if you've got some church wardens or you want to talk church wardens, hit me up in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe to uh, the video, please. And we'll see you next time. Y'all keep on piping. Y'all keep on picking. And we'll catch y'all later. Take care.